Hi. In this brief video, we will review how RedTrack Auto Optimization feature works and how to apply it to get uh, better results uh, from your campaigns with the help of Little Magic and Machine Learning. So let's start with uh, why do you need that? Actually, when you have a simple file, everything is clear. You have landing pages or you have two landing pages, and uh, you know that one of them works uh, better to get uh, the results from your offer. And then uh, you can make a choice where to send the traffic. You might have two landing pages, and then you will know that, well, still the mix between one page and the offer works better than the other one, and you can find the better combination to send traffic. But what if you deal with multiple offers or multiple landing pages? What if you actually deal not only with uh, multiple landing pages and offers or multiple pre-landing pages? Then analyzing all this stuff actually gets very difficult. There are, there are multiple paths for best result and one path is working in one case, the other path is working in the other case, and you still want to keep one and the same campaign running because you don't want to create two dozens of overly specialized campaigns. So what you do then? You then use auto-optimization. So let's start with uh, the fact how this auto-optimization works. First and foremost, the first, you need to switch it on. Second, you need to specify how it will work, those first two fields. This one uh, and means how often we will uh, apply auto-optimization rules. This field means uh, how big will be the data learning pool for this auto optimization rules. So technically, if you put 10 and 100, it will mean that each 10 conversions, we will recalculate auto optimization based on the data of the last 100 conversions. What is auto optimization? It means that we receive the click and decide not randomly based on weights but based on the past performance of all your 100 conversions and all those clicks, how a particular click will be handled through pre-landing pages, landing pages, and offers, or any other path you choose for optimization. And you have path pre-lender, lender offer, but for uh, more simple scenarios, you have actually pass sub-X, lender offer, or lender offer, but it means that, for example, if you run multiple Facebook ads, you can specify the, uh, I would use ID, just to be consistent, ID IDs, and now based on specific ad in a Facebook campaign and its performance, we will navigate uh, the path from the uh, landing page to the offer. Of course, Facebook doesn't allow redirects, so probably will not be able to specify ads only offers. That's a shame, but for many other traffic sources, that will still work great and best. Now, uh, why do you do optimization? Because you want to reach a specific goal. And that specific goal can be conversion rate, return investment, earnings per click. Again, based on the traffic sources that you're running, like you don't have real-time campaign cost updates. So you probably don't want to do earnings per click or return investment. Or your goal is to just get more conversions. So you pick up the goal. Now we made primary important steps. We define how often we choose the right path, how deep is the learning, and what is the goal we optimize towards. Now, of course, machine learning may be a black box or magic, but we allow you to set up some rules that guide the machine learning. So first of all, let's make a simple scenario. You decide the threshold. What it means if, for example, a specific path between land and offer has not reached a conversion rate of 5%, it will not be considered as a success. It will not be included into the whole auto optimization. Still, with multiple landing pages and multiple offers, uh, same landing page may beat 5% conversion rate for different offers, but you want the best result. So then you have this multiplied means that with any other variations, the best 
or the path with the highest conversion rate will get uh, 5x the traffic than the next one. Or of course, you can do it up to 10x or just of the same traffic as the other ones, allowing you some variations into how biased you want to be in your optimization to the winning path. And then the last section here is how much of the traffic will be sent through the winning pathways and how much of the traffic will be left for the system to collect that learning data. And maybe there will be another winner based on the 100 uh, conversions when we do the next cycle of our optimization towards pathways. So in essence, what you do, and uh, one important thing to consider is when you have uh, this one and you picked up a subix, you also decide how many clicks uh, should be generated by a particular uh, subix before it will be included in the pass. Because for example, one ad may generate you just two clicks with great results, but the other ad has hundreds of clicks with slightly worth the results and you will lose all those opportunities. So please consider uh, also the amount of clicks before this uh, placement or creative or something else goes into the optimization. So again, you decide how often the system will apply uh, the knowledge. You decide how deep will be the learning of the system. So every 10 conversions, we will recalculate the passes based on last 100 conversions. Then you decide the optimization goal. And then you decide the pass that will be used for optimization, depending on your campaign setup. So different campaign setup will have different paths. Uh, now you also set up the threshold. So the minimum desired result you want to have, or if you don't care, leave it at zero. Then uh, you set up the multiplier, that's the share of the traffic from the optimized traffic, the winning path landed to offer will get. And then you decide uh, the share of the traffic that will be optimized. We can do more than 90 because you still need to leave something to help the system learn and 70 is recommended settings. Last but not the least, you can always click this button to see why Rectric made this or that uh, traffic distribution decision. And if you're not happy with the results, you can always drop uh, the accumulated data and restart the learning. That's it. That's how our optimization works and hope you enjoyed this short video.